Hello and welcome to the awesome 180 channel. I'm Ashtin Doctor, your habit coach. And today's video was born out of a conversation that I had with Ram6k on Instagram. And he sent me a, a lovely message. He said that, you know, I always see you smiling. I always see you happy. You're with all your guests on your Instagram lives. You're so full of energy. You're so compassionate. And I always believed that you were being fake because you're on screen. But you start replying to people and you are the same way. What is happening? Why are you so happy and how can I be this way? And I remember in one of your conversations, you had said that you weren't always this way. So what happened? So this was his conversation with me. And I said that, you know, instead of just replying to one person and sharing this, I thought it was something to share with everyone and understand that maybe there are a few points you can take away from this journey and use because all of us are on this journey of constantly improving and all of us are on this journey of maybe not at the place that we want to be right now. If you like content like this, please don't forget to hit subscribe because we're coming up with very new interesting videos every week. So to continue on this story, I want to tell you about what I was like five years ago, six years ago, seven years ago. It depends on when you're watching this YouTube video, actually. Um, what happened was that I was in a very, very dark place. I was extremely unhappy. Um, my family members would meet me and say, what happened to you? Why are you no, no fun? Why don't you smile anymore? What has happened? And I very clearly remember at that point of time getting upset with them for telling me that, you know, why are you sad? Why are you sad? And, and I didn't know how to answer them at that point of time. In my life, that was what I would describe as rock bottom. In my life, that is what I would say is the lowest point that I've ever been on. And I know so many of us are in situations like this. We are in our own rock bottoms. We are right at the bottom. There's nowhere else to go. Where everything seems hopeless. Where there is no point in continuing. When we feel that all that we had worked for is just pointless. And there is there, 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 there seems no hope. You know, imagine if you're at the rock bottom of the ocean. You've got the ocean floor below you and the surface is kilometers away. How are you ever going to get there? It seems like an impossible task. But what happened, and this is a very important learning that we can all take from this, is learning number one. I said enough is enough. And I drew a line in the sand and I said this much and no more. This much I'm willing to give, I have to now start changing my life around completely. And for me, this was the starting point. I said, if I was rock bottom, there is nowhere lower that I can go. There's nothing worse that can possibly happen right now. So there is only up. And this is the second learning. Rock bottom is a fantastic place to be. Rock bottom means that no matter what you try, it can't get worse. Rock bottom means you have something to kick off and jump off of to go higher and higher and higher. Rock bottom means that this is your starting point. Rock bottom means that now you have everything to gain, nothing to lose. So whenever you're at rock bottom, celebrate it. In fact, when people write to me saying that I'm at the lowest point in my life right now, I say congratulations. Congratulations that you're at the lowest point because now there's only one way, up, up, up. So learn this aspect. Then what I did, Learning number three was I said, I'm going to dedicate my life to happiness. I'm going to dedicate my life to figuring out what is happiness, pursuing happiness, running after it. So I read every single book there was on happiness. The Dalai Lama has a book on, on happiness where he talks about compassion. There's another beautiful book called Joy on Demand written by another monk on compassion. It is amazing. Learning these attitudes, learning that suffering is an important aspect of compassion and joy. I took that suffering, I turned it around, I repackaged it and I said, how can I help people who are going through similar sufferings? This started bringing me joy. This started bringing me compassion. And every morning I wake up with that happiness thought. Now, what is happiness? You know, this is something that many people get confused. Happiness is not the goal. According to me, happiness is just the baseline, right? Rock bottom, you're here. You remove all the negative stuff from your life. Remove all the negative stuff from your life. And from here, you reach here. Now from here, you can go higher. And that 
is joy pleasure all those other forms of of positive feelings but happiness according to me should be your baseline happiness should be how your day should be every single time unless something negative happens unless there is an emergency unless there is some stress so the idea then is how do you get rid of stress how do you make sure that that the negative aspects of your life are left away and that is where the constant work comes in that is why we exercise every day that is why we work on our gratitude journals every day that is why we practice the way that we converse with people you will notice that most of my conversations are never confrontational why why do i want to create one more stress in my life there's enough stuff that is going on that can stress me out learn these little aspects start searching for people who embody happiness for you happiness might be physical things for you happiness might be spending time with people happiness might be compliments whatever happiness is for you whatever brings you that joy start pursuing it start pursuing it with a vengeance almost from today if you can make a pact with me today write it in the comments saying from today onwards i will change just say enough is enough i am now going after happiness it is a beautiful feeling in fact my friends when they talk to me they say ash then you know what you are annoyingly happy why are you always happy why can't you be sad and i was like i'm sad when i need to be sad but like when i'm not why do i need to life is short i'm going to die soon you're going to die soon everything's going to end why are we taking our life so seriously and these kinds of thoughts need to start coming in your mind you need to learn about philosophy and when people talk about what is it that we're living for and why do we take our lives why do we take ourselves so seriously and half the time i'll tell you a truth we're living other people's lives we're not living our own as soon as you shed that and you start living what is your own truth it starts making a difference now i know this video has probably gone on a little long it's rambled across many 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 topics but honestly that is the way that you should pursue this you should try a little bit of this try a little bit of that see what works for you but understand happiness from now onwards should be your baseline take that leap off from rock bottom come up to this level of happiness and then just see the way your life transforms share this video with friends who you know are at rock bottom share this video with people who you know are not happy with their lives if you found this video helpful please don't forget to hit like and subscribe because all these things tell me that i'm doing a good job and i want to do more of this for you so thank you so much for watching and remember awesome lives they start with awesome habits